welcome back to my channel Shikariah J and I'm back with another video my babies today is Tuesday my babies I hope all is well with you all all is well with me and well we're gonna get into if all is well with me but yeah I hope all is well with you all all is well with me and today is like I said today's Tuesday I hope we all are continuing to stay about happy this piece of love and I hope we all are continuing to stay determined motivated and focused and I hope we all are continuing to walk in the alignment of stars that Allah has for us so y'all I'm over here in this trail that I found by my house and I never found this I never been to this trail number one and number two just when I needed it the most today I discovered it so I'm taking a good walk it's like three and a half miles something like that um i asked this man uh how long does this because in, in the beginning it's so beautiful it's different flowers and just you know you're next to the water oh my god i gotta get this shot oh my it god it was a butterfly but <laughs> uh today we're gonna be discussing i told you i told you what's the title of this video i told you i know right all right, we're gonna just jump straight into this. So today is the ending video of a karmic cycle that I was trapped in. If y'all have been keeping up with my content, then y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Y'all may not specifically know who, but y'all know of him. Y'all know of, of y'all know about the situation as much as I've shared with y'all, but today we're gonna dive a little bit more deeper, okay? Um. So I met this guy through Instagram in the middle of the quarantine. So I don't know how long it's been since then. I say two years when I said that to him, when we were speaking, because I, I cut him off. I'm not speaking to him anymore. I'm like officially done. Um, he was like, it haven't been two years. Whatever, my nigga. I don't give a fuck how long it's been. It's been long enough to the point where you've dragged me along and you still have not made any type of decision. I don't know if you've changed. I mean, it's really a lot. So, I'm sorry, I'm trying to stay focused. <laughs> oh, y'all see where I'm at. So, I met him in the middle of the quarantine and not physically met him, but we met on social media, Instagram. He inboxed me and was like, you're so beautiful if I can just get one ch one chance in my life with you something like that and I was like at the time I was selling pussy okay so any nigga that was coming at me especially through social media I was just throwing the pussy at him and telling him look I was telling him look if you want to link up with me Dogs are beautiful. You welcome. I was telling him, um, if you want to meet up with me, then you know this is what I do. This is the situation. Booze bloops, right? So he was like, "What? What are you talking about?" When we first met, I don't. I'm not gonna bring up, put all those on uh, text messages. I'm not text messages. Hold on, y'all, because I gotta take this jacket off. I'm hot. Um, I'm not going to put all those messages and stuff in this video because there's really no need to that. I just want to say my piece since people have really been fucking with me for these past couple months. Probably probably for the whole two years that I've been talking to him and I've quote unquote known him because clearly I don't know him that well because I'm about to get into some shit today. So, you know, I basically just threw the pussy at him and told him, oh, this is what it is. Boop, boop, boop. He was like, whoa, like, I wasn't coming at you like that. Like, I, I'm just saying you're beautiful. And he was like, damn, you do that? Like, I wasn't even looking for that. Like, you just seem mad cool, something like that. So we just started talking. We started vibing. Um, and we became really good friends in this, in this time span. And... <sighs> You know, I started falling for him. Yeah, I started falling for this man through social media. And I know he started falling for me because when I would post certain things on my, my on my IG story, I, I would post like 
sexy uh sexy videos you know when i had my my um my fw my f uh wbs over i would be posting sexy lingerie um you know or posting my toes you know in some fishnets or twerking y'all know i love to twerk and dance and he always would comment on those stories and this is how i knew he started falling for me because a nigga that a nigga that's falling for you he's gonna be jealous you know he always would say things like you don't you don't like me no more you don't fuck with me no more um who what you doing <laughs> up you know i'll post probably like at uh 12 midnight and he'll be like what you doing up this late what are you doing you know just trying to be nosy trying to be in my business um also being jealous and envious that it's not him so time kept moving on and on and we just stayed in the friend in the friendship lane you know what i mean even when i would try to have certain conversations like um are you married do you have a girlfriend do you have kids he would always avoid avoid all the questions why are you asking me that you know i'm not gonna answer that right now boo, 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 boo. but meanwhile you want to know everything about me but you don't want to open up about yourself in your life so Number one, you're a narcissist. Number two, you're a con artist. Number three, you are an opportunist. Like you, I think you really have like um, a personality disorder. I think you have many mental illnesses and you need help. And you know, I told you this too. It's just gotten to the point, re I don't really know where this video is gonna go. When I watch it back, I'll see how I'm gonna feel about this. Um, It's just gotten to the point recently where y'all seen when I was doing all those videos and I was breaking down and I was crying, right? Because this is the point of our friendship where I, I was getting, I was like, I was on his ass, you know, I was asking him, you know, well, where, where, where we go from here? What are we, what are we going to do with this? Do you have a situation? Let me know so I can move on because it's not okay that you are dragging me along and you don't want to open up and i don't know what's your problem but whatever it is like just tell me like for those of y'all who have ever known me in my life and spent any type of time with me you know how much of an open-minded person i am you know how much of an understanding person i am and all a person has to ever do with me is tell the truth tell the truth and we can figure out a way to go from there and if it's no way to go from there then we'll both um you know apart ways and go about our happily lives simple right that seems so fucking simple right but no this man kept dragging this whole situation now to the point where i didn't know um i didn't know like a lot of things that was going on in the background and basically this is what was going on this man he ghosted me right and i don't know if it was like for a week or two weeks but then i I hit him up and I was like, are you going to ever tell me the truth? Like, we need to have this conversation. And he's like, tell you the truth about what? What do you want to talk about, Raya? Like, always trying to make it seem like I don't know what I'm talking about or I'm doing something wrong, you know? But no, in reality, this man was living a double life, y'all. This man has a whole, I don't know if she's his wife and they recently got divorced. I don't know if she is just his crazy ass baby mama. I don't know. I, I, I know it's one of the two. That's what I know for a fact. And this is what he's been hiding from me. He's been hiding the fact that he has this crazy ass baby mama. He most certainly has children. I don't know if he has um, multiple children with this crazy baby mama or he has multiple children with different baby mamas. Um, he also lives with this. He also lives with this baby mother, and he also lives with his mother. So these are all red flags for me, anyway. Like I'm not gonna deal with a man, a grown ass man. That first of all, you live with your baby mother and your mother. Like no, that's toxic as fuck. Um, number two, I never knew what type of work he did. He always used to tell me shit like when I used to, cause I always, this, it, this is, this is the real funny shit right here. I used to be like, 
when are you gonna see me like you you always commenting on my stories you hitting me up every fucking day you're on my fucking dick you talking you talk a good fucking game but it ain't never no action at the remember i told you in the beginning of this video yes in the beginning when we first started talking yes i was selling pussy but then i was slowly i was slowly trying to change my life i was slowly transforming who i wanted to be today so you know throughout the time of us speaking i would be like all you want to do is talk to me like all you want to do is just have conversations with me like a normal person like a, a normal type of nigga would hit you up get to know you a little bit and then eventually try to meet up with you every time i would be like yo come see me like pull up like let's drink let's smoke you know back when i was doing all of that y'all come come pull up on me like let's chill like i just want to kick it with you like we don't even gotta fuck like it ain't about that like the fact that we've been talking to each other for this amount of time and we only met once in person outside of my residence that's absurd to me because an, an, to, to me y'all to me a guy that's really interested is gonna put in effort he's not only gonna talk to you on social media and through instagram He's gonna link up with you. He wants to take you out. He wants to spend as much time possible with you because he wants to get to know you. But it was always something with this man. And that's why, I, I, like, I, I couldn't put, point my finger on it, but I just got so tired of him hiding and hiding and hiding his fucking truth, you know, manipulating me, lying to me, mentally abusing me. trying to make my life unstable unstable trying to make my life unbalanced trying to take away my peace trying to take away my drive trying to take away my ambitiousness trying to take away my independence so every time i will invite him over i'm sorry my, my arm is tired y'all i really i gotta bring my my tripod Every time I invite him over, it would be an, an excuse, you know? Like, oh, I gotta go set up this fish stand with my father. Oh, I'm sick. Oh, it was a wild night, you know, and I was drinking all night. It was just always something, you know? So I said, okay. I said, all right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start researching shit online, right? So I started looking into Y'all know I'm already into astrology, right? So I started watching mad tarot videos, y'all. And the tarot videos helped me piece together the truth. And, you know, this could all be alleged, right? I have to say allegedly, you know, in the wise words of Wendy Williams, because I don't want nobody to be like, oh, that's deformation of character. Oh, boop, 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 da, 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 da. This is all alleged, y'all. Allegedly, I found out through the tarot. I started reading, I'm reading, um, watching so many tarot card videos, y'all, that I realized this is all, all the information, all the information that I found out through the tarot, the tarot, the tarot uh, videos on YouTube. Because I know he's an Aries. He told me that. Remember, I told y'all that in one of the previous content videos. And y'all know I'm a Libra, right? So it's easy. For those of y'all who are struggling with some type of um, you need like some type of clarity. You need some type of information and you just can't pinpoint shit. Start watching tarot card uh, readings on YouTube. Watch a lot of them and you piece, you can piece the puzzles together by yourself. You don't need nobody to give you no motherfucking clarity. You don't need nobody to come and talk to you and give you some type of truth that they want to tell you. No, fuck that. Use your intuition, ladies, especially because these men out here, they fucking grimy. They're sick in the motherfucking head and they trying to fucking stop you. This man is the type of man where... He's been jealous of me the whole time. How can you be in love with somebody and hate them and jealous of them at the same time? This is called a narcissist. He envies how independent I am. Him and his family. They are so jealous of the fact that I have my YouTube platform, I make videos, I stay out the fucking way, I mind my business. 
you know, I don't bother nobody. I didn't go out seeking this married man or this man in a long-term relationship. I didn't break up no motherfucking happy home. I didn't do none of that. I just was living my fucking life. Yo nigga couldn't stay the fuck away from me. He fell in love. Listen, it was all a setup, y'all. From the very beginning to where we at today, it was a setup. This man, <laughs> him and his baby mother or him and his wife, I wish I, I got to put y'all down somewhere because I can't be um, holding this, um, this phone. Let me try to, hold on y'all. I got to try to set y'all up because this is crazy. Oh, God. Hold on y'all, I'm sorry. Let me set y'all up. Shit now. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on. I gotta set y'all up. I don't know how to put y'all. I don't know is that good like i don't even know <laughs> i'm gonna bring my tripod this weekend you hear the, the um you hear the bugs though so this man i believe this was a whole setup right this man was living a double life his family his friends they all in cahoots and this is what i found out through the tarot cards that this man has a whole family you know like i said whether it's his wife his baby mother whatever the fuck um he lives with his baby mother and his mother they all in cahoots they all do black magic they all have been first of all i didn't even know shit about black magic y'all until i started reading the um i started listening to the tarot card videos and i was realizing that This baby mother, when she found, she she went through his home and she seen that he was talking to me. So she's very obsessive. She's very like mentally ill. She's very unstable, very possessive and all of that. And she was like, okay, you want to keep talking to this girl? And he was falling in love at this time. So he was hiding his feelings though. So what he tried to do, this is what a narcissist does, right? He told this girl so many lies about me they was bringing up my past and all the things that i used to do now that they see that i'm elevated trying to bring up oh she used to do threesome she used to sell pussy she used to do this that and the third um um what else and and making up lies and rumors too you know talking about i touch kids and all this kind of shit i mean they was this bitch was bringing up so many um different fucking lies and shit about me and it's so fucking sad come on now you listen when the hate don't work they start telling lies okay and that's the motherfucking end okay so because this girl found out that he was talking to me she tried to do everything in her power to prevent us from getting together from meeting up you know so what she would do is she would draw this man and this man loves threesomes he loves to fuck other girls. So every time, you know, she basically felt threatened by me. Mind you, I never fucked this man. We never fucked. We met one time outside of my residence. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. I don't lie on my pussy. Who I fuck, I'll point him out in the line and tell and tell the fucking world, yeah, I fuck this nigga, I fuck this nigga, I fuck that bitch. Yep, I fuck this whole line of niggas. Yeah, I'm, I'm that type of bitch. I'll fucking tell the truth. I don't got no problem standing in my truth, but I never fucked this man. Thank God I didn't because this man is, he, look how obsessive he's become with me and we never fucked. So imagine if I would have, this man would have been done. He would have been lost in the source, you know? So this man, um, I'm sorry, y'all, this fucking video is going to be all over the place because I don't, it's so much, it's so much that 
been going on behind the scenes and I really, I don't even know where to start. You understand what I'm saying? But I think I'm doing pretty good gathering all this shit together. So, you know, people start started seeing my elevation. They started seeing my growth. Y'all know I'm on my last and final spiritual journey of my life and I've really changed my life for the better. And all, all I talk about is God and the power of God and inshallah. And God will bless you. Do the work. Heal. Get on your spirituality journey. You can do this. If I change my life, you can. And these people didn't like that. They didn't like the fact that Little old Raya J from Coney Island, Brooklyn. From Brooklyn, from Staten Island, from the shelter, from my mother being, my mother dying from breast cancer, me being a motherless child, me being a fatherless child, me growing up in the project, me being a single mom, you know, me me going going through heartbreak after heartbreak after heartbreak in my love life, you know, me being living in poverty and being poor and, you know, all this shit, right? This bitch couldn't handle it. Him either. So what he did was, because he didn't want his family and friends to know that he loved me, he joined the hate train. And he started, when people would talk shit about me, like, yeah, I know Raya. Raya's not like that. Raya used to do this. Raya used to do that. This man jumped on the hate train with his family and friends and talked shit about me. The only bitch that was ever truly there for him. The only real friend he ever fucking had. The only real love he ever fucking had in his life. You fucking turned your back on me. A real fucking bitch. A real one. Me. But this is what narcissists do. This is what people do with personality disorders. This is what people... This is what people who live on the dark side of life, this is what they do. This is how they give it up. They will mind manipulate you, join the hate train with their family and their fucking friends, join in, join in and do black magic over my life. These people have been stalking me in real life, gang stalking me, spiritually stalking me, trying to manipulate me, emotionally abuse me, trying to fucking keep me from my fucking life living my greatest life, trying to keep me from true love, trying to keep me from true happiness, trying to block my motherfucking blessings. This is what these people have been doing to me, okay? And uh, listen, it's done. It's done. What you don't realize is that I'm a child of God. God does not play about me. Once you turn your life over to the Lord, the Lord will not play about you. And you also have to understand that and you also have to understand that don't never forget if you ever need help in the in the 3D world in this physical world that you can always call on your angels you can always call on your ancestors the, the family members that really fuck with you who passed over to the other side if you are ever in a situation and you need help you don't know what to do you're calling on god also call on call on your angels call on your ancestors i promise you they're gonna be there for you they will never steer you wrong they fighting your battles behind the motherfucking scenes they fighting battles for you that you don't even know <laughs> when I started reading these, um, y'all, you don't understand. When I started watching these videos of the tarot cards, I was devastated. I was devastated. How could this fucking man do this to me? I never caused this man no motherfucking harm. I never... I never lied to this man. I never had no ill intentions on this man. And y'all know that because y'all been seeing the videos that I've been posting. I've been trying to prove my loyalty to this man. I've been, God has been using me, trying to get me to wake him up because his fucking family is toxic as fuck. The bitch he laid down and had kids with is toxic as fuck. And he can't see it. This bitch is sick. This bitch is literally an evil witch, his baby mother. And she she was doing, they both was doing. This bitch hates me so much that she plays on this nigga's weaknesses. She knows that his weaknesses is, first of all, sex, drugs, and money. Let's talk about it. Allegedly, you know? And 
every time she feel, every time in the connection that I had with him, she felt like, you know, he, she can feel his energy. She can feel his energy. That's the bitch you was with, you was with, married to, whatever the fuck. That's the bitch you had children with. She can, you know, as a woman's intuition, whether the bitch is evil or, or nice, right? Whether the bitch is evil or good, you can always feel when, a, when, your, when your nigga or your bitch is fucking with somebody else because they're not emotionally present with you. So although he was with her this whole time, he's still with her and I don't give a fuck, he always emotionally been with me because I was the one that he could talk to. I was the one he could confine in. I was the one who was helping him become stabilized a little bit in his in his emotions and telling him, you know, do you believe in God? Like, you have to change your life. You have to change your life. You sitting here accusing me of shit that I don't even do no more. I haven't sell, sold pussy since, what, August 11th? I don't do that shit no more. I don't smoke weed. I don't drink. I'm, I'm trying to change my fucking life for the better. And here you are. You, you, you fucking straddling the fence of both worlds. You can't do that. You come and talk to me and you act all fucking good and holier motherfucking than mighty. But then when you go back to that bitch in that household, you in the darkest of dark, dark worlds. You can't do that. And I told you, I said, listen, you're going to have to, listen, you're going to, you have, when are you going to do better? If you believe in God and you know the power of God, what are you doing? This bitch keep luring you in with sex, money, and drugs. I keep telling y'all and not, I don't, I never just told him this, but I tell y'all this too, my babies. First of all, sex is not everything. Stop, stop thinking with your genitals all damn day. Okay. You're going to end up in the motherfucking hole and you're not going to be able to get up out of there. And also money is not everything either. You are a fucking Every day you wake up and the only thing that's on your mind is money, 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 money. And I'm not, I'm listen, I'm not shading the hustlers, the grinders, you know, the people that's out here, you know, putting your blood, sweat and tears into your dreams and goals. I'm not talking about y'all because I, I'm, I'm in the same boat with y'all. I'm grinding. I'm grinding, but I'm not to the point where I'm doing anything for money anymore. I'm not doing that. I've changed my life. I'm continuing to change my life and I want to be a better person every day of my life, you know, and drugs. Everything is not about smoking weed. Everything is not about drinking every damn day. This is what this bitch would do. She would get him fucking drunk, give him all the weed he want. And when he was broke, she would give him money. And then when he will be like, you know what? If you want me to stop fucking with Raya, then I'm going to, I'm going to set up a threesome for us. And he will fall for it every fucking time. Every time. Do you not realize that you have to stop that? It's toxic. All of that shit is toxic. So this is what's been going on behind the scenes, y'all. Him, his baby mother, his family, his the the bitches that he's also fucking on side of the baby mother, the 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 guys that he considered his friends, they all have been stalking me. I swear to God, every time I come out of my apartment, there's people sitting in cars. They switch. They they're in different cars too. They um they switch out people, you know, to stalk me. Like it's like they they are running their whole life right now. All worried about Raya J. And Raya J is just literally, I'm like this. La 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 la. Minding my motherfucking business. Doing content videos. Being a fucking good mom. Being a good person. Being a better person every day. And y'all worried about me. Trying to fucking spy on me like you're going to find something. You're not going to find shit. Because I live my truth. I live my truth. And to my family who's been in cahoots with them, it's not a surprise. Congratulations. You failed the test. You, my friend, you failed the test. It's all a test from Allah. Let's see how this person behaves. Let's see how this person handles this. Let's see what they're going to do with this, with, with this challenge in front of them. Let's just wait and see. And Allah waits and he sees. And he knows what's going on. See, the conversations that y'all been having behind my back, family, 
so-called family, so-called friends, bitches, niggas. My, my angels, they was there with y'all. Every bad word y'all spoke about me. Every ill intention y'all had for me. Every fucking spell y'all tried to do on me and my life. My angels and ancestors was right there. They came back and they told me what was going on. Yes, I know everything. <laughs> I know everything. Doing black magic. Doing mirror spying magic. Doing gang stalking, stalking me in real life, stalking me in the spiritual life. Literally obsessed with me. Trying to figure out how was right. How did Raya J change her life? How has she created all these constant videos? Like, and how how has the black magic not worked? How is she still pushing and going strong? It's the power of God. If you believed in Him, you too will be able to change your life. But I'm sorry to tell you this: you went too deep now. You went too far, and you went too deep. And it may not be no hope for you, for God to save you, because you was playing with the devil. You was playing, playing with the devil, trying to literally kill me. This bitch was literally doing spells trying to kill me, huh? Literally trying to make my skin, trying to make me have some fucked up skin. Y'all know I already have a, a skin disease, right? But this bitch was really playing with the devil, trying to make my skin look all bumpy and ugly and shit. Bitches is intimidated. Bitches is intimidated because I'm beautiful. Bitches is intimidated and niggas that I'm so smart. Bitches and niggas is intimidated because I'm so talented. Bitches and niggas is so intimidated because I am who I am and I live in my truth and I have dreams and I know what I want and I know how to chase them. Bitches and niggas. And I'm just letting y'all know this too. If you haven't noticed this in your own life, it be the ones closest to you. This whole time, I thought this man was a real nigga. You know, he's sitting here, you know, playing with my mind and shit, trying to make me weak for him and trying to make me, you know, trying to um, emotionally manipulate me, also partaking in the black magic. But allegedly, I heard through the grapevine that <sighs> they recently broke up for good. And he think he's gonna come crawling to me Nigga, you're not crawling to me because you done broke up with your with your with your with your main bitch and you think I'm about to be option number two and you think I'm about to be a motherfucking rebound. No. God gave you two motherfucking women in front of you. He said if you choose the left, you can go with the dark side. If you choose the right, you can go ahead and be with your queen. He chose the love. So you think after you've been playing in that type of energy, I'm going to allow you back in my energy. I'm going to allow you back in my in my fucking face to play with me and shit. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. You was a hater in disguise. You you really it was a whole setup. Y'all everything was a fucking setup. Everything they like to do threesomes him and that bitch. So at the time when he first met me, remember, I was selling pussy. I was in that type of lifestyle. And first of all, wait, I'm talking about the selling pussy lifestyle. I wasn't even doing no fucking threesomes. I don't even like threesomes. I used to do that shit when I was younger. And I only did it because I just really wanted to experience it. You know, everything is worth trying once or twice <laughs> or three times. But after me experimenting in that when I was a little bit younger, I realized I don't even fucking like threesomes. Threesomes are overrated. Threesomes are if you're not a bitch that like bitches, threesomes is solely for the for the for the for the male's desires because he want to see two women kissing and he want to see two women eating their, eating each other's pussy and he want to have you know he want to be fucking you from the back while he's eat while while he's watching y'all um kissing and shit sucking on each other's titties and licking each other's pussy that shit is overrated if you got one good girl one good girl is worth a million bad bitches. And for you niggas out there who really playing in these women's faces and trying to play these women because, you know, y'all trying to make her emotionally unstable and y'all trying to just, you know, get pussy and use her for her money. You're fucking sad. You're fucking sad. And I'm going to tell you this right now for the niggas out here that's playing bitches like this. 
You're going to have a daughter one day. You probably already have a daughter. You better make sure you teach her the game. Make sure you teach her the game. Because what goes around always comes back around. And it may not directly hit you. But sometimes it'll hit your seed. So. What is this man? Where did this man come from? So, um, yeah, this is everything that's been going on, y'all. And, I, you know, I do have one major. <laughs> I have one, one more major thing that I have to say. Should I say it? Should I say it? I mean, y'all have been trying to kill me, right? And y'all have been trying to make my make my skin fucking ugly because you're so intimidated by my beauty. You've been trying to make my fucking head bald headed. You've been trying to, you know, make me be so manipulated by this fucking deception, lies, abuse use manipulation should i say it because this right here will be the icing on the motherfucking t on the motherfucking cake should i say it i know every fucking thing this bitch this bitch got so greedy doing black magic going to these witch practitioners and really telling these bitch telling these witch practitioners that do black magic these old women that's like 60 70 years old going to them telling them the situation that's not even fucking facts this bitch his baby mother went to these witch practitioners and was telling them i broke up a happy home i did this i did that oh really i did i did so tell your story Go ahead and tell your story of how I broke up a fucking happy home. I didn't break up shit. Okay? The fucking home was never fucking built. The foundation was built on motherfucking dirt and rocks. That crumbled. In a, in a, in a, in a perfect time in a perfect time stand. Because it was never real. He only got with you for pussy. For the aesthetic of it all and for the whole family, the perfect picture family of it all. He only got with you because he knew you was weak in the mind. He only got with you because all you think about is sex. You have no ambitions in life. You're not a good mom. You're not a good person. You're evil. You think everything is about sex. These You bitches out there really think, you know what? You know, in order to keep my man, because my man keep cheating on me. <laughs> my man keep cheating on me, you know? I'm trying to keep my man. How do I keep this man? And you really think letting, letting, letting your man do all these threesomes with you and let him fuck whoever the fuck he wants, you think that's keeping a man? It's not. It's not it's letting you keep a monster it's letting you stay stuck in a certain in a certain mentality it's just keeping y'all in the same cycle that y'all been in since day one. Oh, i thought that that's um some cars and shit <laughs> y'all i'm out in nature y'all know some nature is so beautiful nature with nature can sometimes be a little creeps you know so i'm just trying to um I'm just trying to be aware. Um, you just, you really, you really, it's like y'all women out there got shit twisted. If a man knows that he has a good woman, he's going to do everything in his power to keep that woman. And I'm not talking about being and in, 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 um, trying to, you know, manipulate you and lie to you and abuse you and use you and shit. That's not love. Love is about a balance. Love is about equal give and take. Love is about understanding. Love is about communication. Love is about respect, trust, loyalty. Love is about building something on a true foundation. Most love starts with true friendship. I was this man's friend first. All I ever was, was his friend. Yeah, we, yeah, we used to flirt. 
yeah, we we are emo we are sexually attracted to each other. But all I ever was doing throughout this whole time was trying to help this man become a better man. And he ghosted me. He friend zoned me. He chose to walk on the dark side of life. And there's nothing else I can really do. You know, you want to. If that's what you want, go ahead. I got niggas lined up. Around the fucking corner and back. That would love to have a chance to be with me. Who are secretly my secret admire, admirers. But because I can be intimidate. Intim, intim, because I can be. Um, you know because I can be very intimidating to some. They don't even know how to approach me. Because they know how much of a queen I am. <laughs> so they trying to get their ducks in a row. Before they try to even approach me. Look, like I said in all my content videos that I did about you, all I ever was was real with you. All I ever was. All I ever was was a true friend when you had none. You think these motherfuckers around you are your real friends? You're living in a false reality. These bitches don't give two shits about you. They using you for your fucking dick and they using you for your money. Your baby mother don't care about you. This bitch is all about vanity, sex, and drugs, and money. Your own mother, I don't know if it's your, I don't think it's your, your real mother, but your mother that raised you, she don't love you because she wouldn't be having you out here setting up women to fuck them and take, you, take their money. You know? Your friends don't give a fuck about you because they've been trying to block this love connection from the jump too, to bringing up shit from my past. Like I don't talk about all that shit on my channel. I talk about the shit that I used to do. I used to fuck a lot of niggas. I, I, I fuck bitches too. I, I've done threesomes. I've done this. I've done that. So what? So what? Everybody has a fucking past. You have a motherfucking past if you can never grow the fuck up. I have a past that I've clearly grown from. Everybody in the motherfucking world has a past. That shit they used to do, they don't do no more. That's life. But if you don't grow from it, your past will always be your future. Because you're too afraid to change. You're too afraid to be a real ass motherfucker. And I got one more thing to say. I'm trying to make sure I get everything out. I talked about the magic. I talked about his mother and his baby mother and the kids and his double lifestyle and um, trying to manipulate me and keep me fucking stuck in the 3D motherfucking world. Um, the stalking, talking shit behind my back. Oh, this bitch, um, his baby mother was doing something one day. She was acting real suspicious and acting real sneaky. Mind you, when they first did the black magic, they, they all did it on me together. They all was against me and they all did it against me together. It was like a group fucking effort that came against me. But one day she was sneaking around and she went to a separate practitioner to do a spell on me but he caught her he caught her and not only did he catch her he caught her in the act of not only doing a separate spell on me mind you they was doing it together they was doing it together but this bitch got greedy and she was like okay okay since you're still talking to her since you're still emotionally attached to this girl I'm going to go to a different person and I'm going to do a different spell. And she did that. But what she don't understand is he hired, um, I don't know if it's a private investigator because some of these um, divine masculines, and they're not even a divine masculine. They, they should be called a sick ass masculine because they're not real. They're narcissists. They don't want to wake up to the life that, that God has for them. They don't want to live in a truthful life. They don't want to be a real person. They don't, they're afraid to go after their dreams and live their dreams. So I don't know if he specifically hired a 
um, I don't know if he hired a private investigator or he just hired like one of his family members or something like that to spy her to see where she was going. Not only was this bitch fucking other niggas on the other on the, on on the outside of their relationship, but I mean that's no surprise. You're doing threesomes, you know. And shot look, I don't got nothing against threesomes, y'all. I used to do threesomes in my youth, but I don't do that shit no more, you know. I'm not into that. So he found. Not only did he find out that she was fucking other niggas outside of him, he found out that this bitch did a spell on him too. She did it. They was all doing it together at one point. But this bitch got so greedy and desperate that they didn't. They wasn't seeing me fold. They wasn't seeing none of the spells working. You know, my face was still looking good. I'm still just look, looking like my normal self, living my happily old life. This bitch was not only fucking other niggas on the side, but this bitch was. She did a separate spell outside of the group spell, and she did it another one on me and on him. To keep both of us stuck here in the 3D world. Y'all know I've been talking to you all about this twin flame journey. This twin flame journey is no joke. This man was actually my twin flame. But he didn't, you see, he didn't know how to handle the pressure. He didn't know how to handle the struggle. If only he would have just picked the side that I got, that Allah wanted him to pick, which was the good side, aka me. His, his life would have been changed already. He would have been blossomed and bloomed and we could have been living a beautiful, happy life together. But he chose the dark side because that's where he was comfortable at. He was also afraid of change. And also this bitch plays on his weaknesses. She knows that she knows that her man like threesomes. She knows that he likes drugs and money. So she played on that. Baby, what you got to do, baby? Don't leave me, baby. I love you. What do you want to do? You want to have another threesome tonight? What you want? You want weed? You, what do you need? You need a drink? I'll get you anything you want. I'll do anything you want. You want me to look like Raya J? This bitch started putting on different wigs to try to look like me, try to walk like me, try to talk like me. This bitch was watching, stalking my YouTube channel like my number one fam. Hey, bitch. Yep. Hey. Um. This bitch, I mean... She become she became so obsessed with the fact that her man was not in love with her anymore. He was never in love with you. You was just a uh, a uh, a uh, uh. you was just for the moment. You was just for the moment. And yeah, y'all had a lot of fun and y'all did a lot of things and and I know about all the freaky threesomes y'all done. Should I say it? <laughs> Should I say it? I mean, you did try to kill me, right? With this fucking black magic that I didn't even know shit about. But I did learn about it because my angels and ancestors, they came to me in my dreams. And they also told me to watch these tarot card readings on YouTube to find out this information. That I don't need nobody to give me no motherfucking clarity. The truth is already within. Any answer that I need and any answer that I want, all I have to do is do the research. All I have to do is go into solitude and I can find out anything I want. Anything. So should I tell it? You've been trying to blackmail this man so this man won't come towards me and be with me? Because you just, you want to, you are such a desperate, thirsty asshole that you, you want this man to just be up under you and with you. And y'all not even together. You you just want him with you because you don't want to see him happy with me. Hmm. That's what you want, poor baby. That's what you want. So the last thing I gotta say, if I have anything else to say, I'll probably make a part two, y'all. But I've been talking to y'all for almost fifty minutes, and I gotta finish enjoying this mother nature here so the last thing I gotta say is this bitch been trying to blackmail him so he won't leave cause he's been threatening her he's been like I'm gonna leave I'm gonna go be with Raya you fucking crazy you 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 obsessed like you obsessed with the situation you yeah we did yeah we did do the magic together on her but you lied to me. You told me that, you know, she, she was evil and she was bad. And she was trying to, you know, 
get us caught up or whatever the fuck this bitch told him to try to make it seem like I'm a bad person, you know? And he fell for it at first, but then Allah woke him up. Allah woke him up and he started to see the truth about everything that I never meant any wrong for him. I never wanted to hurt him or lie to him or had any ill attentions on his life. Like what? I'm not a sick bitch. Like some of you bitches. You bitches is sick. Okay? Y'all need to wake the fuck up. For real. It's fucking sad. I feel sorry for you bitches. For real. So because she knew that he was getting... He was building up his willpower and his strength to come and talk to me and tell me the truth and tell me everything. She knew that he was about to dip out. Like, pack his bags and dip to come to me. So because she didn't want that to happen and she's been trying to stop this love connection since she found out about it, um, she blackmailed him. She did some black magic on him when he was sleeping. And it was like some sex magic. And I don't know if he let a man, I think he let a man suck his dick. You know, he was under a spell, y'all. She had a, she did some black magic on him where where he would basically be questioning his sexuality. You know, she knows that he likes threesome. She knows that he likes sex. So she did a spell on him that basically, I don't know if he, um, I don't know if he fucked a guy or the guy fucked him or he sucked dick or the, the guy sucked his dick. But basically the guy that I thought I knew is bisexual. Yeah, the guy that I thought I knew this whole time. Yeah. He's bisexual. This bitch set him up. And this is how she's keeping him stuck over there with, with her and her family. By telling him, if you go over there, if you go talk to Raya, if you go be with her, I'm going to put this information out. Bitch, you are sick. Do you know that? You are sick. And if I ever meet you, and if I ever come face to face with you, I'm going to tell you that shit to your face. You're sick. You need help. You need to go into the mental asylum. Because what you are doing is not right. You can't blackmail somebody with some shit like that. You can't do that. Do you know that's a motherfucking crime? That's a legit crime. Blackmailing somebody. Doing some sex revenge on them. Do using black magic. Bitch, you're sick. The devil is playing with you and he's using you to the highest of capacity. And what you don't realize is the devil is a liar. What what did the devil promise you that he was going to give you if you do all of this work for him? What? Because it's not coming. It's not coming. You're not going to be successful in getting whatever the fuck you're waiting for from the devil. The devil is a liar. Do you not understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? And for you, nigga. I told you from the jump that all I wanted you to be was honest with me. I don't judge people. I know what it feels like to be judged. So I specifically live my life not judging anyone. Because you never know what somebody is going through. You don't never know what they've gone through. So who am I to fucking judge? I live my life here on my motherfucking YouTube telling my truth and nothing but the fucking truth. So why, how the fuck would you, why would you look at me like I would judge you or for some shit like that? I don't give a fuck if you bisexual. I don't give a fuck about that. I don't give two fucks about nobody's genitals and their sexuality. Long as you're living in your truth, I respect you. And that goes for any motherfucking body. Don't come around me. Don't try to get to know me. Stop trying to fucking manipulate bitches. 
if you're not living in your truth. All the people out in the world that's living your truth and you're not afraid to be who you are, I fuck with you. I respect you. If you just come up to me and be like, Raya J, I watch your channel. I love you so much. You really inspire me. You live your truth. And you inspire me to live my truth. My babies, I'm going to give you a hug. It's a blessing to get to a point in your life where you don't give a fuck what a hater got to say. You don't give a fuck what your friends got to say. You don't give a fuck what your family is saying to other family members about you and the decisions that you're making about your life. La, 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 la. Who cares? People are so envious and jealous of you just because you live in your life the way you want to. So I think I said everything I needed to say. Um, I gotta, I gotta keep it moving and go about my business, y'all. But I really enjoyed talking to y'all. Thank you for allowing me, um, to just have this open space with y'all to just talk to y'all, man. And when I really feel like venting and feeling like I need to get my shit off, thank y'all for listening to me. Thank y'all for supporting me. Thank you for being here for me in all ways that wouldn't be possible if you was not watching this video right now. Thank you. Thank you for all the support, all of the love. And for the haters, it's still fuck you. So I'm going to continue living my best life as I've been doing. And, you know, understand that if you believe in God, God is in control. He's always in control. You don't have to stress, worry, cry. Um, you don't have to do none of that. If you believe and trust in God, God will make a way where there's no way. Trust me. You know, and... Don't forget to pray, y'all. I know a lot of y'all are going through a lot right now. And um, it's hard to see the other side. Like, it's just, it's very hard to see the other side because you're afraid. You don't know what's going to be behind that door once you open the door. But I promise you, if you just believe in God and trust in God, God knows what's best for you. He knows more than you, more than you think. He knows, um, he knows everything about you, your secrets the lies you tell, the type of life you're living. He knows what you reveal and what you conceal. So I want y'all to continue to be, continue to be uh, yourselves. Continue to be great. Continue to love yourself. And don't stop pushing towards your dreams, man. So my babies, if you made it this far in the video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to your girl Raya J's channel. Okay, my babies, this is the end of the content video, my babies. I love you all so much. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Peace and love. Bye.